Mm. Guys, it's uh, fall off the bone, baby back rib day. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Mark's on the Grill. Uh, th thanks for joining us. Um, so here's what we're doing today. We, me and my lovely wife, Krish, have got invited to a potluck, all right? So uh, we were talking about what to bring, and of course, you know, we've gone online and made our little show here and we love to grill and we love this and we love that and we bring all our followers in here so it's not like we can show up at this thing with a salad right yeah. <laughs> so <coughs> here's what we're gonna do guys i have uh four racks cut in half with some beautiful come on in here have a, have a nice close look this is cool and today we're going for easy okay remember it's not competition day it's potluck day <laughs> so we're going to show you a super easy way to make those fall off the bone ribs that everybody talks about everybody loves but sometimes people just aren't quite sure how to make them so today we're going to use the three two uh oh, oh no. No. We, we need to get the kids up hey maria we're live you can't do that no <laughs> All right, well, we like to think ahead. So guys, here we go. We're gonna get the ribs ready. We're gonna make this super, super simple so it's easy to make those fall on the bone ribs. And we're gonna use an electric smoker today, all right? It's pretty windy out here. I didn't really feel like uh, combating that guy all day. So this makes life super simple. If you wanna get into smoking in a really easy way, grab an electric smoker. They're fantastic, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. First things first, we're gonna coat our ribs in mustard now that might sound kind of weird to you it's kind of windy here so come on in here close so we don't get that breeze by the way it is super windy today so if all of a sudden uh, i go out of frame it's either because trish the lady running the camera there has run to pick something up that's blown over has run to stop something from blowing over or uh, she herself has blown over <laughs> so one way or the other we'll get it taken care of and i've grabbed the uh the half empty thing of mustard there we go we really got to work these shows through all right and get out and we're not looking for anything thick here guys there's a really nice taste and flavor in mustard that comes out in pork uh or even uh, even brisket rubs anything like that and, and if you're thinking to yourself, I don't like mustard, you don't have to like mustard. That's not the taste and flavor it leaves. It's like a nutty, woody, earthy. So now, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the rub, all right? Now, this is not a show about rubs. This is a show about fast, easy ribs, all right? So uh, you can find a lot of our videos that show you some fun rubs, cool rubs. But here's the thing about rubs, you can buy them. They're already done. It's so simple. <laughs> Seriously, try that someday. And uh, just like anything else, you're going to be liberal with them. All right, there we go. These are big, big pieces of meat. They can take it. No problem at all. Here we go. I know Kedrick who's watching has some favorite rubs. I'll bet he does. Oh, hey, guys, uh, do us a favor if you can. We love basing a lot of our shows off of, uh, you know, where we see people uh, watching from. So in the comment section below, let us know uh, where you're at in the country, man. So yeah, I know she's in Louisiana. Let us know where you're watching from. That is super fun, you guys. And you know another super fun thing? Let us know what kind of food you want to see. Troy. Seriously. Troy's, What's that? Troy's from Oklahoma. Love it. Robert from Kentucky. Kentucky. Go Cats. Hey, you know how to do some grilling, man. And listen, we love, love, love when you throw your food in the comments section there. Kedrick knows that. Uh, James knows that. Randy knows that. We got lots and lots and lots of people who love sharing their dishes. Well, let me go ahead. Get my hands another little wash there. Kedrick's from Oregon. Hey, hey, Kedrick is from Oregon. Chad. You Chad, how's <laughs> from it going, Michigan. Chad? Here we go. Oh, and by the way, you guys, um, we've also uh, started up our YouTube channel. That's a fun, fun, fun place uh, to find even more videos, more tips, more tricks. And, uh, you know, on YouTube, we spend a, a little bit more time getting into the depth and details of some of the, you know, finer points of barbecuing and grilling and stuff. All right, here we go. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we've got our smoker set. To, oh, by the way, I gotta explain the outfit, all right? Now, this is normally reserved for like, uh, you know, uh, Canadian expats or expats living down south. I call this the Florida mullet. It's winter up top, beach on the bottom. You got it, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead, put our racks in, just like this. Now let's, every time you open up the door of a smoker, you let that heat out, all right? Uh, so we're gonna build in a little bit extra time here for that heat to catch up. And all we need to do is two racks per. There we are, because this guy has four levels. There we go, how am I doing, Daisy? Is everything going to where it should? <laughs> Daisy likes to surprise, in case anything goes wrong. Clean up, right? There we 
there. One more of those. Don't ever cross camera. <laughs> All right, two more. These smokers are cool, man. I think this is a, a 30-inch one. That's a lot of food. You can have a good time with this. We've done uh, uh, turkeys in here, roasts, and big chickens. Big as a chicken can get, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the thermometer on this one. Uh, it doesn't really come into play. Uh, you've got this set at 225. You know you're going to go three hours the first time. You're going to join us again in two hours when we take this out and wrap it. All right, that's the second step. Let's get that out of there because it looks terrible on camera. And then we're going to close this up. Give me two seconds to rinse my hands off again. And we're going to set that timer. So, guys, like I said, this is fall off the bone, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, in the easiest way you can do it, man. You just got to set aside six hours, three hours. We're going to leave it in there at 225. I'm going to throw in some Jack Daniels hickory smoking chips to give it that nice flavor. Basically, you got three hours to put that smoke flavor in, okay? At the end of that, we're going to come back. We're going to wrap all of these up in foil. What that's going to do is for the next two hours after that, it's going to keep that moisture that the fat and the meat and the sugars and the rubber releasing and then force it right back into the meat. Almost like, kind of a little bit like the pressure cooker, not really. It just forces all that moisture back in. And for the last hour, we're going to unwrap them, put them back in here. We're going to sauce two and leave two open, all right? And that's it, man. That's like the easiest ribs you'll ever bring to a potluck. And, you know, you save your reputation. You can't be marching the grill for yourself. That's all there is to it. I'll see you at 2 o'clock. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, those look good. Oh yeah, let's go to the nice up and down ones of those. Oh, those are pretty. Those are so nice. All right, so I was wondering, hold on, I didn't have them. Perfect. I was wondering what I was gonna forget this time. I thought it would be tongs, but look, there they are. Guys, this is part two. Hi, I'm Mark. Uh, this is Mark's on the Grill, and uh, to bring you up to date, uh, my wife and lovely camera lady have been invited to a potluck today. And like we said this morning, Doing what we do, it's not like I can show up with a salad or a cheese ball or something. So <laughs> we decided to do some ribs, all right? Now, uh, ribs can be one of those long, complicated, uh, you, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nuance type of smokes and barbecues, okay? But like I said before, it's not competition day, it's potluck day. So guys, we did the three, two, one method. Three hours in a smoker at 225, okay? And yes, I'm leaving the door open too long, I get it. <laughs> so guys, let's quickly pull these out of here and now um, these are cooked but you don't want to eat them all right uh, these are like rubber now this is uh, uh, nothing more than a discount on your next meal if you're <laughs> if you ordered these in a restaurant all right uh oh hi mom that was a nice save wasn't it did you catch that mm -hmm. that's lovely all right there we go and one more so let me get that closed again real quick and let me brave injury ow 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 225 is hot <laughs> put that back all right so here's what we got to do you guys we've got to continue to let these cook but low and slow and i want to give them a little bit more moisture so at this point we're going to wrap them all right easiest way to do this is kind of pre-measure some tin foil and just start one at a time now this is also a good time to infuse a little bit of flavor in these ribs, okay? And you can do this via a spray bottle or the little squirt bottle like I'm doing now. And what you do is you put in like a, a liquid of choice, okay? So in there, what we've got, let's bring up two at a time, is uh, beef stock, uh, some garlic oil. Yeah, we went to uh, uh, one of those like Fresh Marts the other day and we got, uh, uh, they have roasted garlic like pre-done ahead of time god i love having that in the fridge two reasons number one the garlic is fantastic and none of us have the patience to slow roast garlic and then just let it sit there you know what i mean so i'm telling you that's a, a cool thing to get and then what happens is oil that's at the bottom of that uh, that's nice the oil that's at the bottom of that is really cool for cooking you know how some people say like bacon grease and stuff same type of idea all the oil that sits at the bottom just kind of gets this really cool, um, uh, intense garlic flavor. It's really awesome.
So if, uh, listen, there's some favorite dishes, stuff you'd love to see on the show, uh, some things you'd love to try and like to see me screw up first before you do, no problem. <laughs> That's what it's all about here, right? All right, here we go. So we didn't change the temperature. We're keeping them at 225, and we're gonna pop all of these guys right back in. And then for the next two hours, these are gonna slow smoke in all of that great rendered fat. And uh, the beef juice that we put on there and the sugar that's in there is gonna start to caramelize. Man, oh man, that garlic's gonna start to really seep in. Now, you don't have to put any more wood in. Everything's wrapped. It's not gonna do you any good at all. Uh, if you wanna do it for effect, okay. but. <laughs> You're just wasting your wood chips. Because it's wrapped, it can't take on any more smoke flavor. Right now, its job is to just hang out, get chill, let all of that connective tissue melt away. That's what we're doing right now, okay? So I'm gonna see you back in about two hours. We're gonna unwrap these, and then we're gonna take half of them, put sauce on them. We're gonna leave half of them bare, put them in for one more hour, get that nice crust, and then off to the potluck. Guys, my name's Mark, this is Marks in the Gill. Marks in the Grill, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see you in two hours. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, last two. All right. So, oh, and we've been joined by everybody. We got the dogs, we got the little one, we got the works. All right. So here's what's going on, guys. Uh, if, if this is the first time you're joining us today, this morning at the crack of, I guess it wasn't that bad, uh, crack of 10 a.m., <laughs> <laughs> we threw these uh, we threw these ribs in for a potluck that we're going to here uh, shortly, and the reason we did it was not because we were trying to dazzle you with any sort of rib or rub or sauce making skills, but simply because I wanted to show you that a potluck doesn't always have to be a cheese thing or a salad or a pie or whatever is like uh, you know super easy or super cheap. This is actually a really, really easy way to do a super tasty rack of ribs, all right? So it's a three, two, one method. That's what it's called. And it's uh, based around smoking. Now you can do it in the oven, right? Ovens hold that temperature. You can use liquid smoke if you want to kind of uh, do it the tofu way. I don't know. <laughs> but if you've got a smoker, whether it's an offset or an egg, uh, you got a Kamado, or if you got one of these electric uh, doodads, like the master built that we just used, then you're gonna set them at 225. You are going to grab a rub, either one that you make, or like I said at the beginning of this whole thing, they sell them, they're fantastic. <laughs> if, you're, if you just wanna do something quick, guys, those are, those are great. They got everything that you would normally put in a rub, paprika, onion, garlic, uh, you know, sugars, all that kind of stuff, that's all in there. So uh, here's what we did. Three hours with the rub on them, well, we gave them a little mustard rub too. It was very satisfying. And then we took them out, we wrapped them in tin foil, Right, and we put them back in for two hours. And before we did that, we uh, gave them a little squirt with uh, uh, like a beef base and a couple of other things. And I gotta tell you, this was kind of fun. Uh, I always keep an eye on the comments and stuff in between. And this whole, I said the words fall off the bone and that actually sparked something. This is what I love about Facebook, man. To me, that just kills me. So I got a, uh, I got a reply or a text or a comment or something that said, uh, uh, why do you want them fall off the bone? That means they're overcooked. So my, my reply in my own, <laughs> you know, way I shouldn't reply to people is because I like them fall off the bone. But then I notice uh, people kind of jump on there and, and give their opinions on them. And you know what's cool about that? Everybody was right, all right? So the fellow that made the comment, uh, he was referring to what they look for in a competition. And, and he's right. Uh, what they're looking for as far as the texture is not a fall off the bone, but when you take a bite into it, and uh, you need to still be able to see like the teeth and the bite marks in the meat. It needs to have that kind of texture. And I gotta tell you something, this is for a potluck. If one person at the potluck comes up to me with a bit rib and says, I can't see my teeth marks, <laughs> huh? this wasn't a family Hedrick show. Hedrick says it's never overcooked when it's It's never off overcooked. <laughs> he thinks they look amazing. <laughs> but you know what? That dude was right, and I'm right. And the guy that came after him was right. And those dogs, the dogs are wrong. The dogs are wrong to make that kind of noise. But that's the cool thing, you guys. Barbecue and grilling is all about that taste and flavor that you create, that you enjoy, that you perfect over the years. And that's like your signature to your family, right? Because here's my thing. On, come on here closer. That microphone is on that cheap iPhone. Because <laughs> here's the thing about competitions for me, right? You know, if, if that's your thing, hop into them, enjoy them. They're super fun. But for me in the backyard, man, learn the basics. Learn the basics of smoking, learn the basics of grilling, learn the basics of direct, learn the basics of indirect, learn whatever dance this is, because that's <laughs> kind of fun, all right? 
And then the competitions that you're going to have are just whatever you did last time, man, because the judges that show up at your competition are usually your kids, your family, your friends, and I promise you, they love all of it, all right? But don't ever worry about stuff like that, and don't ever worry about experimenting and trying different things, because that's what cooking, grilling, smoking, all that stuff is all about. Trying new things, experimenting with new things, having fun, uh, getting the friends together, getting the family together, or in this case, our potluck. So guys, for the next hour and 15, and I'm gonna go that extra 15 minutes because this door is open for a little while and I wanted to come back up to temperature. For about the next hour and 15, we're gonna let these guys, I'm gonna set that there for now. We're gonna let these guys go back up to 225 degrees for another hour. And what's gonna happen is that bark is gonna start to form, all right? If it's that sauce one, it's gonna to start to get nice and black. The dry one's gonna to start to get nice and dry. We didn't put any liquid in there because I want that, uh, you know, you'll see. Guys, we'll see you in about an hour. Three, two, one, don't hit the thing. Three hours <laughs> unwrapped, two hours wrapped, and one hour now. I'm Mark, this is Mark's and the Grill. That's Squeaky hanging out of the smoker. That's Daisy, there's Maria. Trish is holding the camera. See you guys in an hour. The best ribs ever for our potluck. Bye guys. Alrighty, here we go. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and start getting these out of here. Well, okay, guys, uh, again, if you just joined us, this is our fourth time on today, and uh, uh, you've been following along on our journey. So some really good baby back ribs for a potluck dinner. And the reason we did this is because I want you to know that if you, you know, potlucks are a really great way to socialize, very cool with, the, you know, meet, hang out with neighbors and all that kind of stuff. But the food can sometimes, you know, turn into a, uh, nothing but cheese balls, salads, you know, desserts, somebody grabbed a pie, all that kind of stuff. If you can go out, find a good deal on some ribs. We got these at three bucks a pound, not bad, right? And, uh, and if you've got a smoker or an egg or, uh, you know, a kettle grill that you can do some indirect cooking, any way that you can get a grill or a smoker set at 225 degrees, you can make perfect fall off the bone, baby back ribs with virtually no effort. That's pretty cool. So guys, that's what we did and we did it with the three, two, one method. Here's what that means. We put these guys in here with a mustard rub and a rub, 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 whatever, rub, 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 <laughs> for about three hours. And uh, at about 225, we reloaded the wood three times, all right? That first three hours is when you get that smoke flavor in there. That's when that happens, all right? And then you take them out and you can spritz them with like juice, sauce, different concoctions, garlic, whatever, it's kind of your choice. And then you wrap them back up and you put them in for two hours and that's what breaks down that connective tissue. And then from there, you can kind of smoke them to your desired tenderness. So we uh, we had a couple of conversations today about, uh, you know, competition ribs. Competition ribs are, you know, very specific for what they're looking at. You know what I'm looking for? Good time with some friends and family. Could care less. <laughs> but here's what I want, guys, right there. That is a beautiful rib. Watch this. It just pulls right off. Now, this is not that kind of, uh, you know, um, I don't want to say pre-chewed, <laughs> but you know, like that mushy texture. This is that beautiful, perfect, mm, love it. Oh, by the way, the guy that called out the type of texture for the bite marks, there's the bite marks, why well, I win. <laughs> I love it. So guys, we're on our last step to heading over to our potluck. You can tell because I've shaved. I'm almost presentable. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, cut these. Actually, I'll show you what we're going to do for these. This is, a, this is a cool way to serve them at the potluck is to do this. Oh, what are you <laughs> Trish is getting in there. There we go. Is always just kind of get them ready so people can grab one or two or three or five. I'm not looking. <laughs> and have a nice time on their plate, guys. So there it is. Quick and easy baby back ribs fall apart. Beautiful texture, nice and tender. Uh, half sauced, half not, so everybody's gonna be happy. Enjoy your weekend. Find something to grill, find something to cook, find something to smoke, find something to indirect. Whatever it is you do, gather your friends, gather your family, and do what we do here on Marks on the Grill, and get everybody together and have a, look, a good time, you guys. Leave us some comments in the comments section. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know the kind of food you'd like to see, and we'll make sure we get it on for you. My name is Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill.